So, someone came to me the other day asking about resource optimization within PMBOK. So, what I've got on the screen right now is the current version of PMBOK. It's the 6th edition, and if I search for that topic of resource optimization, you'll see that the resource optimization, it is actually a a technique that is found within the project schedule management overview knowledge area uh, and again it is a technique within the process for develop schedule so you can see resource optimization is sitting here as one of our techniques that we could use so if we move a little bit farther forward here in PMBOK and and let's look at um, the definition or what um, PMI sa says is resource optimization, we can see that paragraph setting here. So it says resource optimization is used to adjust the start and finish dates of activities to adjust planned resource use to be equal to or less than resource availability. And it also says examples of resource optimization techniques that can be used to adjust the schedule model due to demand and supply of resources include but are not limited to these two items here resource leveling and smoothing and uh, and there's a lot of words here when it comes to um, both resource leveling and smoothing so let's actually go to the definition of, of resource leveling um, within PMBOK I've got a an online version here of the PMBOK glossary uh, terms and definitions for the sixth edition and if I drill into the R's and move straight into that that term resource leveling we can see what that what PMI says is resource leveling so it says uh, according to PMI resource leveling is is a resource optimization technique in which adjustments are made to the project schedule to optimize the allocation of resources and which may affect the critical path. So let's uh, let's stop right there because we've um, <laughs> PMBOK does a great job of giving us a lot of words, but sometimes um, those those are just words, and it's hard to hard to visualize what PMI is trying to say here. So what I've done is I've actually created a little schedule here in Microsoft Project. And so you can see I've got a sample project here um, and, and just a few, it's got a, a, a project start milestone and a few tasks and a project complete milestone. Um, <clears throat> and and over to the left here, you can see that we have a, a number of, of heads that are appearing. And these heads that appear here in this version of Microsoft Project is indicating that we have at least one resource on each one of those tasks that are over allocated. And what we want to do now is let's let's focus in on that resource leveling technique that my, that PMI talked about. And in order to better um, investigate or demonstrate that resource leveling, I'm actually going to shift to what's called the tracking Gantt view. So I'm going to uh, right click over here on the right uh, in the view bar, and I'm now going to click on the tracking sh tracking Gantt, and from the, the reason that I come here is because within the tracking Gantt view, by default, I'm able to see some additional things uh, on the bar chart on the right that, that, that are not there um, in the Gantt chart view. So as I'm looking at the bar chart on the right here, I can see um, I can see the dark bars here on the bottom. That's that indicates the baseline duration. So this this project schedule, this little project schedule, has been baseline. I can also see from the tasks tasks that are in red, these tasks are currently on the critical path. And so now let's come back and let's talk about this resource leveling approach and to better understand why these tasks are showing with little red icons meaning that this, there's at least one over allocated resource let's let's make a couple tweaks to this view so one of the things we're, I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert the column called work into this view so that we can see that the amount of work that's tied to each one of, tied to each one of these tasks and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, add a second view to, to this screen and so I'm going to slide my divider up here and I'm, the view that I'm going to bring in is the one called resource graph 
and now I've got the resource graph at the bottom. Um, I have this configured to focus on work, and now I'm going to select, click on this task number two. So as soon as I click on task number two, you can see that the resource graph is now displaying for Jim. And as we look at the graph on the right, we can see that Jim is over allocated on Tuesday. Uh, this would be December the 22nd. And we can see that over allocation here appearing in red. And we can also see the reason why Jim is being over allocated is because we're asking him to <clears throat> complete 16 hours worth of work on, on this day because these two tasks are overlap, currently overlapping. So that shows us that we have an over allocation problem with respect to Jim. If we click on this, this task three here, we can see it's tied to Sally and Sally as well. She has an over allocation on Wednesday in which we're asking her to complete two different tasks. And, and those two tasks, when we stack them up on top of one another, we're asking her to complete 16 hours worth of work in just one day. And she can only provide or deliver um, eight hours worth of work. So, so you can see from this little schedule here that we have two over allocated resources in this project. And so now we'll perform that resource leveling technique as defined by the Project Management Institute. We can do that right here within Microsoft Project. And so in order to perform that, we can leverage the out of the box configuration of Microsoft Project and simply say level all. And you'll notice with just one click, um, all of the heads are now have now disappeared. And what that means is none of our resources are now over allocated. Um, and if I again, if I click on task one and we look at Jim, you can see that he is no longer over allocated. S same with same with th this task in which Sally is assigned to. She is no longer over allocated. But if we go back to that definition, from PMBOK, you'll remember that it says it may affect your critical path. If we look, if we look at the task or the activities that are, are currently on the critical path, for sure you can see that a number of those tasks pushed out. And uh, from here, we can see that this project schedule it, it was targeted to complete on this Friday, and by leveling this project, it is now targeted to complete on Monday uh, the 28th. So now let me hit click on undo to put us back into that original state where we have over allocated resources. And let's go take a look at that second definition, um, that second technique, which was resource smoothing. Resource smoothing was the second technique. So if we go look uh, uh, at the definition of resource smoothing, according to the Project Management Institute, resource, um, resource smoothing is a resource optimization technique in which free and total flow are used without affecting the critical path. So now let's jump back over to our Microsoft project schedule here, the one that is currently over allocated. And let's add an additional column into this uh, into this tracking Gantt view. So I'm going to right click here on the predecessor. I'm going to insert the column. And within Microsoft Project, the, the column I'm, go I'm going to insert is called Total Slack. And you'll notice that when we look at the this column for Total Slack, that, that there's a, there's a number of tasks that have zero total Slack, but there's a couple of tasks here that do have one day of Slack to them or within them. And so what we want to do now is we want to perform, we want to leverage Microsoft Project to perform or demonstrate that resource, resource smoothing technique. In order to do that, we first must change an option. So if we click here in the ribbon under leveling options and place a little check mark by this option that says level only within available Slack and now click on OK. Now we've changed the options and let's take a look here at, uh, at Jim again so we can see that Jim um, is currently over allocated on that same day again, which was Tuesday the 22nd. 
and Sally is over allocated on Wednesday, the, the 23rd. So we'll click on level all and we'll get a little notification here that Microsoft Project uh, is not able to resolve some over allocations. And again, that's because of that set setting that we changed. But we're going to say so we're going to say skip all. And, and so it skipped the items that it couldn't um, resolve. But and, and so with that being said, you'll notice that Jim is still over allocated because his tasks were on the critical path. But if you look at Sally, uh, Sally is no longer over allocated because she had tasks that had slack to them. So Microsoft Project was able to pick up that one of those tasks and remove that over allocation. Again, by following this resource smoothing approach, this approach did not impact the, the critical path and this project is still targeted to be complete by 1225. Now we do, we do, and we still have an over allocation problem with Jim, but that's uh, perhaps a, a different story and a different video some later time discussing how to resolve that. So hopefully you found some value in this video um, and understanding resource optimization techniques within PMBOK around resource leveling as well as resource smoothing. Thank you very much.